so, um, it was bugged. You have the ability to skip it. So I skipped it. Because... Hey, I'm still yeah. alive. <laughs> I'm not an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus. And what a sight, the Lower Ascension Station. Ah, I did it once again. You see that? I did it. I, 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 oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So, do you want to be carried? Which would be plain boring. Or, do you prefer the fun and fast way? Yeah! So there's going to be singing too. So after the singing, I will talk. Historians would die for a way to decipher apparently missing text passages here. They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions related to gold subsequently appear. But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot. And that was without expecting any pay, except for the reward for telling us on about the context of it on with the plot. Huzzah, get on with the plot. You'll be safe Oops. Too now. We just need to wait for your fiance to show up. That Cletus guy is really a lucky fella. I hope he'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. Alright. So, a couple things to explain here. One, that those two cutscenes were preceding the cart thing. I figured out the proper way to do it, but the game was glitched, would not let me pass. So there's actually ability to skip ability to skip the mini game. So I skipped the mini game so I can get past the part and continue with the story and continue to record. Second thing, I was trying to tell you guys that I was gonna talk to you afterwards. You may have heard it, it was really faint because I left my microphone on the ground and I was being dumb and didn't even realize it. So, uh sorry about that. I will yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh, anyway, we will continue as soon as I uh, get back, because I'll be back in one second. Anyway, we now return, and uh, I'm going to stop being stupid, so that way I can actually do what I want to. Um, so now, we're going to go ahead and continue. So we're going to move the hey, shelf. There's something behind it. What the? A plug? Oh, man. I'm not going to turn it on yet, because it's obnoxious. So uh, first, I'm going to eat an anchovy. A one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. So now we take the anchovy on the stick. And we're going to need to eat the anchovy. So Yummy. you right click on it. Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid too. Wow, exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. All I wanted to have was the stick anyway. Yep, which I now have. And I can get some chewing gum. Chewing gum. What? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. There we are. Let me get some chewing gum and we can chew it. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. Mm. <coughs> I'll keep the rest for later. Much later. Alright, so we got chewed gum for later. So Not now really. we put the uh, plug in. It can't be that easy. And it's about to get real loud and obnoxious. Uh -huh. Obnoxiousness. Now it's set to calzone. Nope, we don't need calzone. We need phosphorus. Now it's set to phosphorus. Right. Take the stick. 
get some phosphorus cotton candy. Alright, success has been had. Now we can do this switch stuff. It doesn't actually do anything. Switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Pull another switch and it just breaks off. Whoopsie daisy. Pull this switch and it just switches uh -huh. around. One on, two on. I'm getting there. It doesn't actually do anything. So now we can continue and get out of the obnoxious loud. <laughs> anyway. What else we can do here is we can go onto the hatch and find out that we need to have some light to actually use it, which we don't have yet. So, yeah. So see, it'll be like, oh, niche, but can't do anything because you need light to illuminate it, which will come later. But we can go over here to the tower where I don't think there's anything I can pick up uh, yet. Yeah, there's nothing I can do yet, so we can just go out but show you that it's there. And then we need to go over to this concourse. Concourse, we can go ahead and pick up the mosaic stone, which we will need. And we also need to put the phosphorus candy with the lamp. And it now glows. Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. <laughs> Alright, so now we got glowing phosphorus candy, which we put in the hatch. And it's all lighted up. Lighted? It's all lit up. <laughs> wow. The mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been barbecue Thursday. Totally. And we can take the cotton candy back. And it's time for another puzzle game. Yeah. And good thing is this one isn't bugged. Before so. I get to work here, I should clean a little bit. Ooh, did I really say that just now? Oh, that's right. I have to clean it first. So I'm just kidding. We're not actually going to do that yet. However, we can go ahead and grab these pebbles, for one. Which I don't remember what we do with. But anyway, we're going to walk over to the elevator, and we will continue in a moment. Alright, everybody, we're back, and um, now we're going to con- No, I'm back. I thought I was starting a new episode, because it's been a while since- Like, it's been a slight period of time between my last recording. Um, but this is all going to be one episode. Anyway! So when we left off, we checked stuff out, and now we're going to go into this utility cabinet and grab everything inside, which is a soap, a soap, no, soap, a mop, and a bucket. I actually missed the bucket the first time I did this, and I was really confused on what I was supposed to do until I finally figured out that it was because, yeah, I missed the bucket, which could be an issue. So now we're going to continue and go over to the lobby and back over to... This first part over here, the tower, not first part, but this is the part where I went at one point. Um, and so you see where this barrel of water is, we need to walk over here. And we need to take the bucket and put it with the barrel of water so that we get this. Add soap to it. Mmm, foamy. And then we add the mop to it and we get a bucket with soapy water and the mop gets me a mop with soapy water, of course. So now we're going to head back over, <clears throat> that was my awkward voice crack, uh, of the day. Not really, but anyway, we're going to go over here and go to where this is a dirty mosaic table, use it with that, and... I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. We get to clean. Notice how Rufus does a ton of cleaning that he doesn't actually want to do. Crap, the mop broke. Now I have both parts. So and what it'll an be important. Occurrence. It'll be very important. Um Can I use a mop with this? Never. I don't remember. This aisle of just oh, else right. should And in a second we will continue with the next part. Now, there's been a lot of pauses, but there's been a lot of things. Alright, so now that we're back, we can notice this hole here so we're gonna put the mosaic stone with the hole well will you believe that the stone won't stick oh what now my bad i forgot need to stick it with the gum 
so that it gets like an adhesive, you know. And then you take the mosaic with chewing gum and stick it. I need more light. Need more light? Oh, that's right. Man, I am being so dumb. Cotton candy into the hatch. And ta-da! We can see that there's a giant hole. Now we can actually see and put Someone it in the hole. scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now this. we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. Notice how they say there a are piece. Still more pieces. Well, no problem. <laughs> I'll have that solved in no time. And there's a lot more pieces. All right. So this first one, you can so you left click to pick up a piece, and you right click to rotate it. So this one goes up here. You can kind of tell where the line lines up. Then this one right here goes here because you can see that. No, no, not like that. Goes like this because you see. Uh, hold on. Well, uh, oh, my my apologies. It's actually this piece because you see the uh, kind of like lines up there. Not really. I don't actually. Uh, here, that's where it lines up. I was like, I knew it lined up somewhere. So that's where it lines up right there. And then the next piece is this little green one here. It'll go like that. Then the other green one goes like that. Then this one goes here. Then see, there's no way to describe these, so I can basically just put them in there and go this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one. Because there's not really like nothing differentiates them between color, but then inside there's a little bit of line. So I guess if I took the time, I could carefully explain how each of them is different. But I'm just gonna continue to ramble on about why I can't as I fill it in. And then I will show the final product and you guys can get the picture of what it looks like. And we don't actually use this one. There's actually, you don't use every single piece. This one freaking, oh, that's right, you have to put this one last. You actually have to put the one with the gum last and you'll see why. Uh, so this will go here. This one will go down here. Oh, a little bit further down. So like right, what the heck? Oh, that's because it's this one. Um. I don't know if you guys could tell now. You can probably tell. I'm actually looking on my second monitor right now for how to do this because I don't have it memorized. I figured it out on my own, but I didn't memorize it. It's, it's too many pieces to memorize. So I'm just putting it together, rambling, and then I will tell you guys in the end. And you actually do use all pieces. I don't know why I thought you didn't. Where does this go? Ah, oh, here it is. So this last one, it supposedly doesn't, no, it doesn't fit. So huh? why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Because, you know, screw logic, right? Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Come on. Go. Go. Damn thing. You're supposed to... And... Psh. Oops. Uh-oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. But, little does you know, there's a torch light in here. And a fuse switch, so you can change the reboots. passwords. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R U F U S. Oh yeah, Rufus. So. Although the episode is going to be a little bit shorter now, I'm actually going to leave it before going up to the elevator because there's a lot of stuff that goes on once you get up this elevator. So I'm going to make you guys wait for it. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode.